Anna, my daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. By the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So, you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. guys ask to remind you to burn all the slime around the bombs once you reach them. Uh oh I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klepnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? It should be, but I'd still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a bump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both? Oh, thanks. Older to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Older, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Red three, roger that, sir. Good.
You don't need explosives. Just find the valve that stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. Alder, let's see here. I found the valve and it's proceeding as planned. Good job, Red 3.
How is it going on your side? Everything fine? Yes, pretty much. What's up with you? My flame I won't hold the pressure. And I can't find a leak for the life of me. Do you have any spare fuel? I didn't expect that shit to grow so thick here. Of course I do, sir. Help yourself. Here. Nice. Thank you. I heard helping the commanding officers is good for your career. Also, that ship did grow like crazy. Ah, I think I got it. <laughs> I really did. All right, I'll go catch up with the guys. Good hunting, sir. You too.
say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Please, gentlemen, you did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel Sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that! Sweep-up duty, sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great! We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. So what was I... Uh... Oh, I remember now. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. All cold. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we moved to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, 
but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time, like it always does. You see, the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime, and they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Oh, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter-flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have the robots here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too. Oh, no. Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. The general is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes. Stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a I second. Better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer unless... How about some tea? <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man, an OSCOM fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things OSCOM. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? He still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. You must do certain things. 
and then look into his eyes thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero slover isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. But I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right, you got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity, if they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. That was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens, <laughs> No, no, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! Good, Tanya. I just... So this is the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away! Oh, come on, Tanya! Come on! Just look! Look at what your son has to wear! Look at what I have to wear! There's no food at home! Do you understand that? I am in debt to everyone! I can't even look the neighbors in the eye! Do you even care about us? You're a disgrace! You drunk everything away! All the green stuff you got! They didn't give much the greedy bastards. And anyway, come on, it's the New Year's! You scum! Slime! Drunkard! A disgrace! Why did I ever marry you? <laughs> oh, come on, Tanya! Please, don't... Don't cry, Tanya, please! Oh, Colonel, sir, hello there. Tell me, Colonel, whatever do I do with this woman, huh? First of all, you should quit drinking. Uh, yes, I will, sir. Colonel, uh, I am not drinking no more tonight. Celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third. Do you know it? Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The third one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting. But no, thanks. Suit yourself. Look, 
One day, we are going to go outside, are we not? We are not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! What a surprise! Drink to the new year with us, Colonel, sir! Hello, sir! Join us, please. We'd be happy. Uh, sorry, guys, but I gotta get home see my son. Happy New Year to you all! Ah, thank you, sir! Thank you, Happy sir! Happy New Happy Year! Year. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your Citra? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see? I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow. The tree is so beautiful. Yes. Listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. <laughs> On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one! Happy New Year! Damn, this sucks. The damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there. 
And this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest, you know the what's dregs? At stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? <sighs> Don't mind if I do. Help yourself, then. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with trouble members. You know the start. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting their life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left. And then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> Yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on living the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. But Toby doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. He basically hinted that I had an official paper, signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? What could it be? Yes, General, everything is as you say. Thank you for seeing me despite your busy schedule. You do understand that we had all our hard-earned wealth confiscated, so we are worried. He walked me to the door and shook my hand, with all respect. You weakling! What did I tell you? You had to make a stand! These papers are good for nothing, save for adorning the walls of fucking fools! You had to demand a real document, and I'll 
saw you from the general himself, with date and his signature. You are a respectable man, Yakov. How can you let him do this to you? There was nothing else for me. He let me know right off the bat. It's obvious, really. It's in the way he looked, his handshake. He would have declined, so I just saved face. That's just because you, Yakov, are a coward and he knew you'd give in. You just had to push back. Just, just stay here. I'll go talk to him and get the thing that we need. You'll see. Someone must have some balls in this family. Don't you dare. It's all done already. All said and done. <sighs> My mom was right about you after all. Hello, sir. How's the situation, Sergeant? They're getting restless, sir. Our only option is to remain calm and not let ourselves be provoked. Yes, sir. to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. What the hell is with you? Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. What were you done? I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Here! You remember? Come over here, sir! Of course I do. Open up, Petrovich! Slava! Thanks. Uh, come in. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't. You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. This is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. Honest. I found a cash, sir. It. He does have some. I cash Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can Enough. Be... We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and the report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slav. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest. Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? I know, but we already have a bunch of new arrivals waiting on the platform. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. I'm sorry for the mess here, but the refugees just keep coming in. The dirty stations have it real tough. The general ordered they are kept here for the moment. Then we'll pass them on. I see. Thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> oh. 
Oscom, open up. Oh, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biriskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah. If I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. 